In this video, I want to demonstrate how to make the stock model toolpath. So I'm happy with these two contours. There's no point in simulating them again and again and again. So I want to create a stock model. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say create a stock model. This will open up. I need to give it a name. It's defaulted to one. That's fine. I'm going to change it to after contours. And then the first thing I need to do is, well, for this tool pass that I'm about to create the stock model from, what was their stock model? So down here, I'm going to say, just use the stock setup values. Then I'm going to come to the source operations and tell it this operation. I'm going to hold control and select this. So these two operations are what will machine the original stock model to create this stock model. And I'm just going to say, OK, Mastercam will quickly calculate that. And if I turn on the cut lines, it'll show the stock model. So I push Alt S. There's the part. I want to see the cut lines for this. And I can do that. And now I see them. I'll just shut the shading off. And now the cut lines are these triangles here that you can't see as well. So it looks good. I'll shut that off. I'm also going to shut the stock display off. And now I want to set up the simulator. So when I run the simulation of the next tools, it uses this as the stock model, not my stock setup. To do that, it's important I'm down here in this operation. I'm going to come here to the simulator, options and expand it. And I'm going to tell it for all future simulation of this, I want to use the stock model. And there's only one created, so it just defaults to that. And I'll say OK. So now when I simulate future tool paths for this setup, it will use this stock model. And we'll continue from there in the next video.